Mr. Lazar Comonescu is the new Minister for Foreign Affairs, but Mr. Comonescu has an extended experience in foreign affairs, so we are very, very happy and truly honored to have him as a guest. And uh, yeah, that's the shortcut. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, you may imagine that uh, when I was invited here, my staff considered it appropriate to prepare some speaking notes. But for the sake of uh, brevity, I decided not to follow those speaking notes and uh, to speak rather on a let's say personal, uh, some personal, uh, to speak out some personal uh, thoughts. First of all, I would like to thank very much the president of the Aspen Institute of Romania, my, and I hope he will agree with me, old time friend, Mircea Joana. I couldn't help myself in, uh, and not to accept such a kind invitation. There are several reasons for that. One was, as I said, who was the, the one who invited me, but beyond that, one uh, key reason for me to say, to come here, is Aspen itself. And I pretend to know a little bit about this Aspen Institute. And uh, I would only add that uh, I had the opportunities to see Aspen Institute and the network of Aspen Institute working in various capitals. And uh, I am not telling now to please Mircea John, but, uh, and others from the Aspen Institute here in Bucharest, but I think that although from time to time comparison, ne parison, uh, I can say that without any hesitation that uh, the way how and the activities carried out by Aspen Institute Romania they are really top activities. So uh, this is one point. And if we look into those who already benefited uh, of the awards of the Aspen Institute in Romania, we see that they are really personalities. And uh, it, it speaks by itself, because they've been awarded and they accepted the awards from the Aspen Institute Romania. And that also speaks a lot. Uh, beyond that, I would also uh, like to underline that uh, Aspen Institute in general, but Aspen Institute in Romania, uh, seems to me to be one of the think tanks which have been to the best connected to developments in, in uh, the real world and especially if I'm looking into, and uh, Mircea Jano has already, has already referred to that, developments in our region, developments in our, uh, I'm euphemistic when I speak about developments in our region and in our neighborhood, I think that uh, the Aspen Institute has already done a tremendous job in this respect as well and in, in a better understanding of where we are and what we have to do. And this is, th that brings me to the, let's say, last argument for me being here today, is that uh, the activity of such an institute like Aspen and their products, they are for an institution like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Romania, a real asset. And my intention is to not just continue to cooperate closely with the Aspen Institute and other think tanks, but we are here in, uh, with Aspen Institute, but to develop this cooperation in a much more intensive and much more visible way, because that would be for the benefit of all of us. And last but not least, allow me to, though I don't know who the awardee, those who would be awarded would be, to congratulate, already to congratulate them. I know that among them there are young leaders, and as Costino was saying earlier on, my appeal to them is do contribute, do commit yourself, do engage yourself in all the efforts aiming for a better change 
and a better life here in Romania and not only in Romania. Thank you very much.